Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Lake Georgetown Corps of Engineer Park. This is Rusty 78609. It's early in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Sun's coming up. We got cakes on the griddle. I'll go around here and let you see my spot here. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it's really nice. Got a lot of cedar trees, some oak trees, and they also have a casita. That's mine. They also have two ways for you to grill your food if you choose to, over charcoal or whatever. They got this little dude here. And then they also, over here, have another one if you want to do that. Probably not the healthiest way to eat. But anyway, we're going to go take a little walk. i got to go dump my Walmart trash, so to speak. But having said that, let me get my stick here, and away we go. And I'll show you some RVs on the way. Most of them are travel trailers. But yeah, these, these uh, sites along this side on the right here, those are all on the, quote, waterfront. But they're really not waterfront. you got to walk down a little trail to get to the water but it is a pretty morning so let's go i'm going to go do my morning walk and you're going to go with me why because you want to don't you <laughs> anyway we'll make a loop they got some most of the rvs here are of course travel trailers there's a class c up here on the left the park is probably oh 80 percent full this section over here doesn't have many but as we go around the loop here you'll see more and more uh, it's uphill all the way to the garbage cans. This is the uh, showers and stuff over here. You can't hardly see them through the trees, but there's restrooms and showers right through there. Yeah, and, and Corps of Engineers parks are always pretty nice. This is a good one. Yeah, he's got him a Compass uh, Mercedes Sprinter. Nice one. Got a pop out. Just an early morning walk, guys. Nobody's up yet. A few people are up, but they're not out yet. Yeah, there's actually three campgrounds here on the on Lake Georgetown. And one of them is called Jim Hogg, I think. And it's got like 120 sites. This one's big, too. I don't know how many sites they have here. And it's like $26 a night. But if you have the senior pass, you get a 50% discount. And most of these are seniors. Retired folks. Like, well, how can you retire? How could I retire when I never did anything? It's always good to get up in the morning, guys, and take a nice walk. Then I got to go over to HEB and get me some groceries. I was going to get me some charcoal and stuff and do some grilling, grill me some ribs or chicken or something. But you know, I, of course, this is just me now. Remember, I do me, you do you. Cooking meat or anything really over charcoal is probably the unhealthiest food you can eat. And you know, if you don't believe me, just check it out. Cooking, cooked foods over charcoal, health uh, benefits or whatever. No, you'll find that there, it's, there's a lot of carcinogenic stuff going on there, which is not good. Electric grills are okay. And I may get one if they have one at HEB, get me some chicken wings or something, or thighs or whatever. And some hot dogs. I wouldn't mind having a hot dog tonight. And just to tell you where we are, this is site number what? Naturally, the number's not facing this way. Maybe I can tell you this one over here. This is site number one. How about that? Numero uno. This road here to the left goes down to the boat ramp, I think. No, that's overflow. Oh, it's, it says overflow parking and fishing dock. So apparently they do get really busy. There's the dumpsters all in a row. And they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
Is that right? Yeah, eight dumpsters. Uh, that's a lot. That tells me there's a lot of people coming in here. Now to see if I can lift the lid and dump the trash with one hand. And with Matilda, that's a Matilda to all her family. Hello, Matilda. Good morning, all you Matilda kin, kin folk. Now let's see if I can do this. Oh, all right. We did it. Wasn't the quietest. You ever see a dumpster smile? You know, when you dump stuff in there, they smile. See that? This road here says do not enter, but I'm going to enter it. Why? Well, because I'm not a car. Yet. It's a beautiful morning. It's probably 70 degrees. Winds out of the north about 8 miles an hour, maybe. Just a nice morning. Air's fresh. It's okay. Change hands with my deal here now. Okay. Why didn't I bring my trike? I didn't want to. I'd, I need the exercise. Actually, you can ride a trike from here over to the large HEB. There's a trail that goes right to it, or close. It's about seven miles one way. There's a volunteer here. Got him a boat and a big RV. A big fifth wheel with pop-outs and pop-ups and pop-arounds. Popcorn RVs. They got pop air poppers everywhere. There's a motorhome with pop-outs. And here's another motorhome with pop-outs. Says caution kids at play. There ain't no children in here. These people average age is probably 80. And I doubt that the mothers are getting pregnant. Got him a part of a Texas flag. That was one of the ones that was at the Alamo, it looks like. Not many people out walking, I thought there would be. There's the host over here cleaning the restrooms. So all you people that want to be park hosts, that's what you look forward to in the morning, just going and cleaning the restrooms. But these sites are pretty good. There's enough trees to give you privacy in between sites. And as far as noise, uh, only one uh, group last night uh, it was some kid younger group naturally and uh, yeah, see this is site number what this is site number 58 and it's pretty private I mean you can back in there see and you got plenty of privacy by your grill and stuff yeah they're, they're pretty much all that way they got a pretty good they had enough property to allow a lot of space between the RV sites and I think they utilized it quite well. It is a nice morning for a walk. We'll let this go a little bit here. My morning walk video. Here's another travel trailer. You know, I guess I could be wrong. I said it was 80% full. Maybe it's 60% full. But the farther you are off the water, the more privacy you're going to have. If that's what you want. I mean, if you want to be on the water for whatever reason. Here's something else I'll show you. See, this guy right here in this RV. One of the things that always aggravated me is to get somewhere in a campground and there's a street light. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're not going to get out and look at the stars. That's out. 
They got him a little dog tied up outside, and, and believe it or not, it's not barking. Yeah, this one right here would be a pretty good one right here, 52. Well, except for one thing, the moon light, the, the, the star, the street light. I had the one down here where that motorcycle is the last time I was here, and it's a good one. It's probably the, one of the more isolated spots, but it was taken. It's a guy on a motorcycle, which is fine. He paid his dues. But it's pretty good. It's easy to get into because when you're coming around the corner here, you just come right around and come up this way and then back in. It's real easy. That's why I chose it. And it is, I'll tell you, because it's a good sight for privacy because there ain't nobody around you. But well, this right here, this one right here, but that's over in front of you. Not a problem. It's site number eight. Yeah, site number eight. Anyway, guys, I'll end the video here in a minute. Good morning. Yep. Nice response there. <laughs> I don't know about people, man. Well, I think what it is, when you say something to people nowadays, if they can't text, if they can't text you a response, then they don't know what to do. You know, they're just kind of like, shit, what do I do? You know, I can't, I can't text a response. So anyway, guys, from Georgetown, Texas, Corps of Engineers Park, this is Rusty78609 saying, uh, well, there's a pop-up, pop-out little camper there, lightweight, yeah saying thumbs up. I can't get my thumb in the thinger. There it is. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime. And if you want to, use the Amazon link. And if you want to use the Patreon thing, you can. Don't worry about it. It's your choice. Just remember that. Your choice. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Stretch, walk. Keep your health however you can. Uh, you'll never regret that. And then what? I'm gonna walk up here and end the video. I gotta set my stick down. Yeah, keep your health, stand guard at the door of your mind, you know, your titanium cranium. Cause man, the world is just, I say the world is, it's just a handful of people that keeps spewing out like a volcano, volcanic negative ash. So anyway, here's a place I can lean my stick while I end the video. Anyway, yeah, it's a nice place here, man. Here's one of the water hookups. That's one of the few that has that handle. Usually you see this in cold country because what happens whenever you close that handle, the water drains out so it can't freeze. But anyway, having said that, guys, from, from the campground here near Georgetown, thumbs up. Enjoy your day, guys. Adios, bye-bye. Addy, -bye. carry on. That's the lake out there. It's it's really low, and uh, but anyway, yeah. Enjoy your day, guys. Enjoy your life the best you can. Bye bye.